Since 2011, CVSAN has worked with Castro Valley Schools to reduce garbage by auditing campus waste. The collaborative waste audit process identifies the type of material going into the garbage that could have been recycled or composted. Hey there my Castro Valley TV viewers, welcome again to another great restaurant review. Today we're right on the border of Hayward and Castro Valley visiting the Cannery Cafe for some awesome breakfast and lunch eats. Why don't you come inside and join me for a quick bite. Menu uh, with you know our, our farmers in mind and the season in mind. Mm -hmm. um, we love having relationships with the people that we get our food from. So mm -hmm. you know we call them up and ask what's available and what's what's best, and we, we put it on the menu. But uh, everything's homemade. We wanted to have the food be really honest and soulful and just something that uh, we'd be proud of. And so. Uh, you know, we want to make it hard for you to come in and pick something off the menu. And it is definitely That's hard. I've been here three times and each time I want everything. And we've done our job. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I see a lot of great local stuff, especially with the distal turkey, the 4505 meats, right. as well as the Marin Sun Farms and everything. So, really great job you guys did here. Thank you very much. Mary's Chicken, um, we're known for our biscuits. We make our biscuits in-house. We try and make it as much as we can in-house, all our desserts. Great. Well, I'm excited to try something. Anything do you recommend out of the breakfast or lunch menu? You know what? The um, the, the brisket sandwich is fantastic and uh, the fried chicken sandwich. Betty's Down Home fried chicken sandwich is one of the best sellers here. Nice. You may have to try that then. Very good. Great. Thank you right. so much. Yeah. Nice meeting you. All right. Awesome. So I think we're going to start today with some breakfast. Let's actually do the daily um, omelet that you guys have. Sure. Perfect. And I think we'll also try the fried chicken sandwich. That sounds good. Also. Yeah, you got it. Anything to drink for you guys? Oh, I think we should be fine. Thank you, though. Yeah, no problem. Your total is $18.59. Perfect. So the Cannery Cafe is part of the Hayward Area Historical Society. What's awesome about this place is they have a community gallery where you can see lots of exhibits cycling through, especially from local people in the Castro Valley, Hayward, or even East Bay area. What's awesome about this place as well is they have a great sense of community. Here you come, you bust your own tables, you'll see a lot of friends and family here on the weekends. In fact, they even have live music on the weekends as well. What's coming up is also a three-course dinner they're offering, a supper. So lots of things happening at this place. Something every day, something every week that's new. So I would definitely recommend checking it out with some friends, family, especially on a weekend when it's busy. So this is my third time here and every time I cannot pick anything on the menu because everything sounds so good. I love that everything's local, everything's hearty, and everything's comforting. So every time I've came here it has been with friends. They even have a beer and wine license here so it's great for those Sunday brunch mimosas which the Bay Area is definitely known for or even a quick beer with lunch or a glass of wine. Hey guys, we're in an omelet. Great. And a Betty's. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Enjoy. Thanks. It's beautiful. I love that the cheese is already melted on the inside. I could see all the fillings on the inside. And what's really important that I love here is how crispy the potatoes are. Well, let's start with the potatoes and give them a little taste. Mmm. These potatoes are perfect. Some would say may need a little bit more salt because potatoes, since they're a fried item, most fried items have to be salted right out of the fryer. So personally, I would add a little salt or, since it's breakfast, my favorite, Cholula hot sauce will go right on top. Now let's see how the omelet turned out as well. All that stringy cheese. I know we haven't done a cheese episode yet, but that's my favorite. Eggs are perfect. There's tomatoes in this omelet, and the problem with sometimes adding tomatoes in an omelet is they tend to bleed out, get very watery. Well, these are actually just perfect. We got bits of the bacon and the onions as well. Now, this was their special omelet of the day, so they're using what they have in stock, which I love to always come into a restaurant and just see as they cycle through their daily specials. So this was a great choice, especially the cider fruit.
Now we're about to feast on what we've been waiting for. This is Betty's fried chicken sandwich featuring Mary's air chilled chicken. Now why that's important is because rather than having chicken that's been chilling in a wet environment and the flavor leaching out, air chilling concentrates the flavor. We also have some pickles that are actually made here at the Cannery Cafe. Just like the name Cannery, they actually sell their own pickles and other products that they make themselves. Now on here we also have a spicy slaw and aioli which is a fancy name for garlic mayonnaise. So let's see how this is. I can already tell you right from the get-go, what I love is that the bun is toasted. It's not going to get soggy and really complements the crunch of the chicken. I'll be right back in five minutes. Five minutes later, this is one of the best sandwiches I've had. What I love is that the chicken's actually really moist and perfectly salted, which I'll be honest with, fried chicken is also not too easy. Like we mentioned with the potatoes, salting has to be done right out of the fryer, so this is perfect. That spicy slaw gives it a little bit of a kick, that aioli, that nice creaminess without overloading everything. Finally, let's try the cannery signature pickles. Hmm. It's more of a of a salt and spice type of pickle. I'm feeling some cloves in there, possibly some garlic as well. Not as much vinegar as I truthfully thought. More of a salt brine pickle, but really delicious compliment to the fried goodness of the sandwich. Now some would say, where's my side salad or where's my fries? You can always add on some fries or a side salad, but trust me, once you get halfway through the sandwich, you may already think about taking the leftovers home. We, so we have enjoyed some awesome eats here at the Cannery Cafe on the border of Hayward and Castro Valley. We started with our daily special omelet with the bacon, tomatoes, onions, lots of melted cheese, and the perfectly fried potatoes, which I topped with my favorite hot sauce. I also love that it comes with a side of fruit, something nice, healthy, energizing for the morning. Then we delved into our fried chicken sandwich, Betty's fried chicken sandwich with a side of cannery pickles. Delicious, I'm definitely gonna come back for this one. As well as some really nice homemade iced tea. Now, my only qualm with this place is sometimes it does get pretty bustling. And in fact, it's sometimes a hard place to find. It's located right on the border. It's right around the corner, I believe on Foothill and A Street or so. So it gets a little hard to find, but once you have parked, and you can park right behind Big Five Sporting Goods. It's a short walk over here and you can come and enjoy. I would definitely recommend this place, especially on the weekends. As I mentioned prior, there's sometimes live music, there are beer specials on Saturdays, uh, mimosa and champagne specials on Sundays where you get one or two dollars off per glass. So you would definitely see the community come together and converge on awesome weekends here. Since 2011, CVSAN has worked with Castro Valley Schools to reduce garbage by auditing campus waste. The collaborative waste audit process identifies the type of material going into the garbage that could have been recycled or composted. 